Hi, I'm Dick Johnson. This is the Mars Live News. On today's top stories, Tonishta Leo Vodka realizes that he loves his drink too much to allow for the cafe culture to be instated by one Michael Martini. He flopped back stating, I don't remember pushing any agenda. All I know is we need to get the beer back into beer garden. Wet bars across the country are delighted about the government's generous 16 million investment into its Irish pubs. This investment will allow each bar to open for a total of one month before they close back again due to lack of serious funding. That's it from Demar's live news. We'll be with you very shortly with some live interviews, performances and local Irish music.
Hi, I'm Dick Johnson. This is the March Live News. Musicians are left to decide should they host a wedding or a funeral so they can actually play a gig. Apparently they can get a better crowd at these events due to the recent six-man indoor restriction. Or was it 15? No wait, that's outside, right? No, six is outside. Fuck's sake, I've no bleeding clue. And now some news from across the ocean. Joe Biden bid himself farewell after failing to outwit himself in his own Jack's mirror while practicing a speech against one Donald Trump's. That's it from Demar's live news. We'll be with you very shortly with some live interviews, performances and local Irish music. Everybody, welcome, welcome to Demar's Live Episode 5. Yes, we've made it to our fifth episode, guys. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're all keeping well. Uh, do say hello when you pop on. Say give us an L hello and let me know if the stream is working for you. We've uh we've upped the amount of megabytes we're throwing at you. So uh I hope it's a seamless stream for you. I do advise you to hop onto YouTube. That is the place to be uh, for a better visual and audio experience. Also, there's a lot more people in that chat generally. Uh, We're really trying to push our YouTube uh, because it's just a better network for live streaming, we found, you know, so it doesn't block us off or anything like that. So, yeah, if anybody's in there and can give us an L comment and tell us that everything is good to go, uh, that would be amazing. We got Nathan Mack saying, love the new opening. Nathan, thank you so much, brother, and happy birthday to you, man. Happy bleeding birthday. I didn't know because, of course, uh, Facebook is, uh, unfortunately, I depend on Facebook these days to tell me whose birthday it is. Isn't that horrible? Uh, But Nathan is on Instagram, guys, so definitely check him out. We're going to be playing an exclusive pre-play of his song, Carolina, which will be released tomorrow. So it's an absolute pleasure uh, to have that exclusive with us. I, you guys know I love my exclusives. Uh, we got Joe S in the house. Joe S, man, how's it going? Welcome, 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 my friend. And thank you for tuning in, guys. Great stuff. All right, so I'm going to just see if everything else is going okay here. Um, yeah, if, Nathan, if you haven't tuned in in a while, we've had a couple of improvements, uh, which, is, which is great um, since we last spoke. And I'm looking forward to our chat as well. Uh, Nathan's going to be joining me on Saturday. So it's great we get to do these uh, twice a week again. So I get to just keep, you know, reconnecting uh, with musicians, um, with wonderful musicians, wonderful people. So it's great. So yeah, anybody that's just popped in, welcome, welcome. We're just starting. We're just starting. So come on in. And when you come in, write a comment, say hello. Tell us you're here with us. Tell us who you are. So I can give you a nice big hello. And give the stream an L like. And give it an L share as well. And if you're new and you haven't uh, subscribed already. Do hit the subscribe button and the bell there. So you're going to get notified every time I go live. Um, I'm sure most of you now know the timetable. It's every Thursday and Saturday. Uh, from 6 o'clock. And then on the Tuesdays we've got the L uh, live soundtrack. The live soundtrack, which some of you guys are tuning in for, which is a bit of gaming and music. So yeah, how's everybody keeping out there? I hope you are all. Hope you are all good. Hope you are all keeping positive. Uh, we've got some fantastic, fantastic stuff for you today. As you can see, floating above me there, um, we've got the wonderful Shabzi from State Lights joining us, and we have the wonderful Kevin Casey. Uh, both. 
of whom have released uh, singles last Friday. So it was great to be able to get them onto the same show. Uh, two wonderful, wonderful artists. Um, so both released a single each. So it was just a really, really lucky situation. I could grab them both on today. So it's it's it, we're dedicating the show to those two. And of course, Nathan Mack, who's releasing his single tomorrow. Exciting times. Dave Core, thank you so much for the like. Thank you, brother. Welcome to the stream. And we've also got a special feature today, which is uh, uh, going to be provided by Maximilian Foy. Yes, some of you guys might know this wonderful person. And he's going to be featuring Pure Grand and Lipton Village. He's going to talk a little bit about those two musicians as well. Um, and we've got some new music as well by Amanoko, um, Owen Rua. And uh, yeah, that's actually, it's just those two artists. So they're, they're two new artists that have been uh, introduced by Fluttertone. So you guys might know Fluttertone, an amazing uh, company that supports local music as well, led by Colin Slattery. Yes, there's your shout out, brother. I hope you're out there somewhere. And uh, yeah, thanks for sending me. Uh, always a wonderful artist. He is on the ball for new local music, guys. So without further ado, I'm going to play our first bit of music since we're getting the ball rolling. So I'm, I'm feeling a little bit... I had my I had a nap earlier, guys. I don't usually have a nap before the show, so I'm a little bit spaced. I don't know how you guys feel after a nap. I think I need to sort of listen to a bit of tunage to wake me up. So uh, I'm going to bring the first bit of music. It's Amanoko, and they are a Northern Irish-based um, band based in Nur Nuri. Nuri. Uh, they came from a few bedroom sessions. This is where it all started. It started in the bedroom, would you believe it? Messing around with each other's styles. I know what you were thinking there. Blending and molding a sound to see what would happen. Then the story emerged. A catalogue of music quickly formulated and is now in the pipeline for all of you folks. So this is their most recent single and it's called Arrow. And they released a single earlier as well in the year called Emerald. And two songs last year and an EP in 2017, which launched their musical um, endeavors, which is only three years ago. So I hope you guys enjoy this song by Amanoko Arrow.
for the like, Lindsay. Claire Nolan, welcome to the stream. Guys, it's the usual, it's the usual intro. Nathan hasn't seen it in a while. You've seen it, you've seen it, don't you worry. <laughs> All right, bit of Owen Rua. Send it down the river Been away two years Spend it on away I can feel you here Since the sun's arising guys i don't know what happened there i am playing owen rua on my i have two laptops set up so i don't know if that was if that was the right one so that might have been a total glitch right there but that woke me up whatever that song was let's see oh my goodness well welcome welcome kc okay i'm here welcome kc welcome 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 guys uh, what's Claire saying? Nothing but the best as usual. Really like this. Kind of makes me think of Voy Vance. Brilliant, guys. Brilliant. Yeah, thanks for tuning in. We got some people watching on YouTube. Welcome, welcome. Guys, if you're watching on Facebook, do hop over to the YouTube link. And uh, yeah, it's a much better experience. Um, I don't know what's going on with my Spotify right now. I don't think I played that. I don't think I played the... Uh, um the song i wanted to play actually so i'm gonna play it right now and it's called do you ever think of me and uh yeah that's by owen rua 
So let's see if that works, if this works this time, okay? And we're going to, straight after this song, we're going to hop right into a conversation with Shabzy O'Brien from State Lights, guys. Yes, yes, yes. We got him back in. We spoke to him back in, was it April? It was quite a while ago. Uh, so we're going to see what he's been up to. And we're obviously going to listen to his uh, most recent uh, release as well, which I'm really, really looking forward to uh, hearing it again, called Give Me Something Human. So I'm going to play uh, Owen Real one more time. I'm going to give this a shot. I might have just totally made a mess here. Uh, like I said, I'm just waking up from my nap. So uh, yeah, let's see if this works. Yeah. Right. We didn't play this one, right? <laughs> Where's my producers at? Where's my help, huh? Love you deep, but you left me in the dirt Hit the bar, it's not what I deserve Six months since you left without a thought I'm not running, but I need to move abroad Begin again, a new start I have no choice, you broke my heart Where I go is far away My plans with you were built to break But do you ever think of me? When you're lying awake at night Are you just gonna let me bleed? Out of sight, out of mind Why did you waste my time? Why did you leave me blind? Are you just gonna let me bleed? Do you ever think of me? Past. Broken all that I know there's a going back Blacked out in a haze of restless nights Emptiness like a poison in my mind I'm gonna move so far away No one there will know your name And I'll forget one day that you exist But do you ever think of me? When you're lying awake at night You're just gonna let me be Out of sight, out of mind Why did you waste my time? Why did you leave? Okay, so that was the right song, guys. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I knew something was off there towards the end. I was like, wait a minute. And that was the awesome Owen Rua, uh, who was an up-and-coming uh, singer-songwriter, 24-year-old singer-songwriter, uh, straight out of Trilly. Trilly Kerry, guys. There you go. So, uh, yeah, and he studied music in St. Louis College in Rome, Italy, and is a graduate of a four-year degree from the Cork School of Music. Uh, so yeah, what an awesome track uh, he released there. And do check his stuff out on Spotify. And that goes for our other uh, artists as well today. Uh, Amanoko as well was the first one. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, that we played today. Which is awesome, actually. Uh, Amanoko, first time hearing uh, as well as um, Owen Rua. So it's just delightful to be introduced to new music. So big shout out to Colm Slattery from Flutterton for throwing me uh, extra tracks there. He's a great guy for throwing out the L. Finding, finding great music, actually, and throwing them towards me. So much appreciated, Colm, if you're listening out there. So, guys, please welcome my very first wonderful, wonderful guest. We've got the brilliant Shabzi O'Brien from State Lights. Uh, you might have heard of him by now because we've been throwing him around all over Damaris Entertainment uh, for the past couple of months uh, since we've gotten to know him and his wonderful project, State Lights, guys. Please give him some love in the chat. Shabzi O'Brien, what's the story, brother? I'm going to just unmute you right now. I, I knew there was something I forgot. I was like, wait a minute, this guy's got a talk right how's it going shabzi i think i've unmuted you oh you have to press it there there we go yeah it was almost smooth guys I almost hello there. there we go brother how's it going right. man great to see you how's your thursday going oh uh, do you know what? it's a bit weird it's a bit weird i had a few drinks yesterday and not many i had about four um 
and I was I was with the la- with the guys like we were online uh, gaming, you know, late at night. Yeah. We played a little bit later than I expected. And uh, I had a nap, and I'm wait. I'm I'm a bit dozy or something. I don't mm-hmm. know. I know it mightn't sound like it, but anyway. Other than that, I'm delighted to have you back. How are you keeping, man? I'm great. Not too bad at all. Yeah, very very good. Enjoyed the slight bit of sunshine out there today. For the well, it's kind of there a bit still, but it's a decent enough Thursday. Yeah, where 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 are you based actually? Uh, whereabouts are you? Uh, I'm in Klonski. Klonski. Okay, so I, I don't Dublin, exactly yeah. know near UCD. Oh, very good. Okay, yeah, you're still in Dublin anyway, right? So if you're getting sun, I should be getting a bit of sun, right? So let me see. Yeah, I'll get a bit of sunlight there, yeah. I haven't opened my curtains today yet, so uh, <laughs> this this is the life. Jesus yeah. Christ, man. Listen, thanks so much for taking the time, uh, Shabzi, for coming onto the show. The newly improved show, man. You know, last time you were here with me was the uh, first time we had our, our chat, first time we got to know each other was back in April, I believe, wasn't it? Yeah, at the beginning of all of, all of this stuff, yeah. Being of all this, and it's funny because like it has much changed. I mean, it has a little bit, right? But it feels like we're still kind of stuck, right? As before. Uh, how do you feel? <laughs> yeah, you know, it's a uh, like I, I definitely I'm starting to get um, pretty antsy just in terms of the the gigging aspect. Um, and with the rest of the lads in the band, we haven't spent enough time near each other. If you know what I mean, and I'm getting kind of tired of that. So we actually just had a talk recently where we're like, right, we need to actually make sure that we meet up at a social distance of course and um and write some music and uh, in person because we've been mm-hmm. throwing stuff around online with each other mm-hmm. uh, not online sorry over email and um <laughs> you know it's just been kind of uh it's that can get a bit tiresome it was an interesting project at the beginning but now we you play so much off each other's physical presence i think in a band and i think we want to do that again mm. yeah because when i spoke to you that was you were kind of still doing the live sort of streaming or you're getting into it i know and i know you've done some great ones as well you've done some fantastic covers as well that were huge hits man they were great hits so it was mad. like you know the, yeah. the bronski beat one was pretty crazy yeah to have the lead singer tweet out about it was just fantastic and um, a, a massive icon for of, of, and kind of hero of mine so that was lovely um, so mm. yeah, we've we've made interesting use of the time, but uh, I'm ready for it to end now. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't we all, man? Yeah. My goodness. Well, it was lovely to see you socially distance at the M Kelly gig as well, and it was a yeah. delight to to hear you live uh, once again with the two piece uh, this time. Yeah. Um, it was last year when I saw you uh, with the full band, so it was it was delightful as well just to just to see us and just to see you in the flesh. And just to be able to say hi, give yeah. you the el- elbow of That's salutations. Cool. And it was just nice. Uh, I'm still waiting for that band photo that we had, the, the band photo that we took oh. together. I, d- I don't want to so I don't want to get in the way of your other fantastic musicians that are in State Lights, guys. Uh, you are wonderful. Don't worry. I'm not trying to get in there or anything. There could uh, be backup keyboards or something. Could be in- <laughs> yeah, well, okay. Well, here, guys, you heard it. Okay, <laughs> it's 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 recorded now. It's official. Jobs, you know, you don't know me that well, man. But I get very very serious when people say something <laughs> like that to me. You know, you better watch out. So, um, don't play games with my heart. Was it was an amazing release that you you released uh, back in June, right? So that was that was a fun, geez, is it June? Yeah, I'm telling time you the time yeah. time frames time frames is crazy. That's so it. that's already two months. My yeah, goodness, months ago, yeah. great. Great, fantastic. So it's perfect timing that we are expecting a, a fantastic song once again from you guys. So uh, thanks so much for not keeping us waiting too long with uh, Give Me Something Human. Uh, much appreciated. You're just giving us a two-month buffer. So we're getting something amazing once again. How was that experience for you uh, recording it uh, through, the, through lockdown? And, uh, you know, I'm, of, of course, you played Don't Play Games With My Heart was also recorded over lockdown, correct? So how was it going through it the second time? Was there anything new or anything different uh, with your approach for this one? Yeah, well, well the new one was, the fact that Don't Make Plays in My Heart was was written when like we were all together maybe about a year ago and then we only came to it and recorded it properly over lockdown but uh, mm. Give Me Something Human was written like you know it was a pure lockdown song really because it, it's kind of it's about it as well it's about mm. longing for human interaction again um, and you know it was it couldn't be more of a lockdown song and that it was written I wrote it in my bed um like three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> um, so like one of those kind of, you know, you're out of, you're not sleeping properly. And then um, it was just a, an idea. The riff just came to my head in, in the in the middle of the night. And I was like, oh, like I was kind of tired. And I was like, I need to go to sleep. But I'll, I'll just, I'll just see if there's anything in this riff. And and then I ended up writing the whole song from start to finish and, and then went to bed at like six o'clock. So it was, that was a pretty pure lockdown song. Um, but I really, I really like it as a song, and you know, it's it's been going down decently as well, which has been which has been good. 
Brilliant, brilliant. Have you, has your like marketing approach evolved or uh, according to sort of the the situation? Have, have you sort of learned from the first release with regard to sending it in the right way, or has anything changed with regard to that? Well, we we you know we we kind of always want to usually for a band these days, like when you release a song, you want to play able to play a gig at the end of at the end of that single process, you know, kind of or mm. a launch gig or something. So now that that's not possible, that's obviously a massive difference. But um, we're actually we're actually kind of aiming it towards kind of sports stuff um, as well. That's the plan we're trying to do. We're going to see how that goes. Um, sending it out to like the BBC Sport kind of situations because we think it might suit. Um, mm-hmm. the kind of Great, thing. like into into sort of advertising, commercial sort of stuff. Yeah, is that, I think yeah. it's working yeah. kind of world. So we're we're kind of looking at that at the moment. Mm. Um, and so yeah, that was something we didn't do with the last release. So that's the kind of one of the things we're looking at at the moment. Brilliant, brilliant. Are you considering a music video as well? We we had an idea for it, um, but with just with a few different things that have been going on in our familial lives, we're not currently going to do that. So mm-hmm. uh, sadly, that's just the way that's gone. But we, we did have an idea for it, but it's an idea that we'll probably use again for a future video once we get the chance to properly make it. Yeah, I mean the video for "Don't Play Games uh, with My Heart." I mean that was th- that that was you know extreme, very simplistic, but it was also very powerful. All the same, you know. So, um, and did that come sort of like what was your thought process with regard for that uh music video? Did that come sort of out of nowhere, or was that kind of did you plan that for a week or two, or did you sit on it for a bit, or were you unsure about that music video situation? No, it it definitely uh, that just it was just naturally made made total mm. sense. I thought I nearly would have made it like like similarly like that almost if, it, if we weren't in lockdown because i thought mm. it was, uh, um kind of being in isolation on your own and mm. it's kind of like a little bit like being there's a paranoia of that song of being like you know of going slightly insane about um you know a, a relationship or whatever mm. um, so i thought that suited just kind of being literally indoors Mm. done up with makeup looking a bit mad and uh, acting a bit mad so we probably would have done it the same i, I would have said actually Brilliant. Yeah. I mean, uh, it, how you recorded it as well, you were saying it was just very minimalistic uh, setup. You're using like a flash on your phone, right? The the torch yeah, and your phone yeah. light and, and yeah. using a... So that's it's great the way you can actually do that now with the technology right in our hands. We can just really make like pretty uh, pretty impressive music videos with, with, quite, with ease and simplicity, right? It's awesome. Oh, 100%. Yeah. So like... Mm. That is definitely a giant positive. All this, for sure. Yeah, yeah, amazing. So you were you guys were meant to play a gig in October, right? You just had a button factory gig booked. Yeah. And uh, what's what's happening now? That's obviously been pushed back. I've, have you set up any extra days? I see there's no events on your page or anything. Are are we just kind of leaving everything? We're just gonna forget about the gigs for now. Uh, what's kind of where where's kind of the state lights mentality now? I know you mentioned a little bit about sort of meeting up socially distance and and working on music. Where's your head at right now with with regard to events and stuff like that? Yeah, interestingly, we 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 have a couple of things that might be coming soon. So mm-hmm. we we pushed off that button factory gig to February. Um, mm-hmm. 2021 so that feels like a whole world away so that's almost now out of the head and we're just kind of going right that's next year imagine looking back imagine we're sitting in february and then looking back to like now it's going to feel like so long ago i think or it's gonna feel so strange right i'm not looking forward to like facebook memories and stuff like that all <laughs> year. just like you know sitting at home uh not looking forward to that yeah so, yeah, good um, point actually very good point. yeah no memories <laughs> but uh, just wipe it just wipe the slate <laughs> clean for this year please facebook do us a yeah, favor yeah. <laughs> totally. so we actually have a couple of things now i'm not they're not fully announced yet but we may mm-hmm. there may be like two or three little interesting small events we'll be doing between now and christmas actually by the looks of it but that right. it'll, it'll all be dependent on whether or not ireland goes into another lockdown of some, of some description Mm-hmm. We'll, we'll obviously see with how the schools get on and all that stuff so so like everything at this time we're just waiting to see what happens but we have a few plans actually for where people might have an opportunity to see us play brilliant oh that's that's i love hearing that mm. that's great news i like him well. yeah <laughs> i mean i know it's just like it's kind of like uh, I've, I'm, I'm sort of like like i'm trying to as well be optimistic and just be good vibed you know just generally good vibed i don't i I don't want to say optimistic even but i'm also like just not putting any like my eggs are like just like in baskets in many of them and you know i'll 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 just leave them there you know (laughs) just like okay don't don't be you know constantly looking and 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 hoping and wishing and 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 
I don't know, like I'm in a weird state of mind, you know, for a, for a person that is is usually like likes to organize things, you know, <laughs> organize events. It's like, oh, you can't get the guarantee, so it's a little bit kind of crazy. Like, are you are you guys thinking as well? I don't want to prod you too much about your events, okay? So th- that information will come out when it's ready. Um, mm. have you guys considered as well still like the the live streaming, or he's kind of like just kind of we, done with we that? Will, we will do something like that again, definitely, because we we okay. we did a live stream there maybe about about was it about a month and a half ago maybe or two months mm-hmm. ago which was great and we had a try to get a decent setup going and everything so we will probably try to do that again Brilliant. Uh, one point two. for example if some of these events don't go ahead that we're thinking of that will actually mm-hmm. be gigs then we will do that again i'd say before christmas you know we'll, cool. we'll have to do we'll have to do something for for ourselves even you know just mm. to actually perform awesome awesome great and and how, how are you actually personally like how are you uh, aside from music and stuff like that have you been up to anything else anything off off music anything on the side or ha- no, how are you as a person how's shabzi doing I, i'm good like you know uh I, i've i'm probably healthier than i've been in a couple of years because i i was you know when when, when pubs and restaurants were open i definitely like to do that regularly mm. uh, and and socialize a lot and so I, it's it's been nice to learn a new way of life in that way i guess i've been eating a bit better and I've been, you know, uh, exercising more than I, than I did before lockdown. So I, I made it a goal, like I'm sure many people did to kind of one positive, positive thing about not having much in the calendar would be to, you know, try not to physically sit down for mm. a, as much as you can try to move a bit. So I've been doing that and I've been enjoying that. So I feel the healthiest I've felt in actually a while. So it's been, that's, that's, I, I like that. That's good that's that's great is there any kind of like you, you have like a, a regiment set up do you have a routine excuse me for like uh, working out or anything like that or you go for walks or i, I i've been I've changed the way i eat actually a bit which has been mm-hmm. interesting i've done a, a thing i'm sure a lot of people have heard of and are doing called intermittent fasting which is just a window of eating for between this time or that time so and so that mm-hmm. that's that helps massively actually and it was something that i never you know you don't con- you don't you kind of consider fasting your body for an hour so a couple of hours per day as a very bad thing for you which actually t- seemingly is not and mm. it, for me it's worked perfectly it, it has kind of helped me shed a few pounds mm. and makes you less reliant on needing to eat food which i was definitely reliant on <laughs> yeah i suppose especially during these times right it's it, it, it's it's good to one tries to find comfort in in places right so um, mm. yeah i'm for sure myself my diet has gone pretty bad but generally i'm okay you know i think my body type is just is all right and generally i'm all right but yeah. i can go down that's because of that i can sort of forget or lose myself you know into a routine of just like ordering in fast food and stuff like oh, that and, yeah, you're lucky in um, that way because i yeah. i'm not one of those people if i if yeah. i look at a pint of guinness i put on two or three pounds <laughs> just by looking at it <laughs> yeah so and and so you're you're drinking less how's like how, how's that because it's so so how do you like chill out how do you sort of like do you have any kind of like tips on that kind of thing or do you you can keep your secrets to yourself by the way it's okay <laughs> yeah well no i just i do you know a kind of a good bit of uh i suppose prayer meditation type thing mm-hmm. whatever you want to call it but i do that kind of a thing in a uh, right. um i i have been I mean, like everyone i've been walking for miles and miles and miles and you know it's it's good it's just it, like there's something exciting about walking at night i always find as well mm-hmm. I, I just love coming out and listening to music and walking at night so i love doing that and mm. I, that's settling but then no but i do i have been on the on the weekends i've been having some great you know sing songs with my family here in the house mm. um, and slowly meeting some other friends in their back gardens and stuff like that so i have i haven't felt like you know i i haven't you know i feel like i have seen people now which is nice so that, that initial feeling of lockdown where you felt like you were just completely cut off from everyone um i haven't been feeling that as much so uh, so that, that's been nice so i have to say that that's great and and so you're saying you're doing the intermittent fasting as well and what is it do you finish you, you don't eat after eight o'clock is it is that how yeah it so it's simple it's the simple thing of mm-hmm. between 12 and 8 p.m so it's 16 hours fasting eight hours eating um mm-hmm. and so it's not necessarily a diet it's just a timing of when you eat Mm. and the, the that period of fasting between uh like say eight at night but and then until 12 in the day is apparently extremely beneficial for your body and keeps your weight down and 
boosts uh, different enzymes that help break down fat, which is great. Yeah, it's amazing. I hear it's 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 very good for your immune system as well, right? So uh, your mm-hmm. body your body is actually um, I don't know. It just goes into a different sort of mode, right? When you're yeah. when you're fasting, and yeah. uh, it's extremely healthy. And some people also do it for like a full day, like once oh, a yeah. week or something, yeah. right? Yeah. Or every so sure, like, so like it, it's in a, in a lot of religious traditions, it's a giant part of it. Like you know, mm. uh, they're you know you Ramadan, know. of course, yeah, and then in Buddhism. It's, it's 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 massive so and and it does it does a weird thing of kind of like when you because if you're any way like me where you'd be thinking about your next meal all the time which i kind of was mm-hmm. i no longer think like that which is very interesting you know i kind of mm-hmm. it, ch- it just changes your relationship with with that because you know if you if you have kind of a in any way a personality that is interested in in eating all the time then mm-hmm. you know a really good way of just setting setting it slightly straight um, without because and it doesn't mean you can't enjoy nice foods you know mm-hmm. just you, you can't you can just you, you still need to eat well you can't just you, you know you can't eat from 12 to 8 and have three or four burger kings in one day but it's such uh, a shame you can't do that i know it's such a shame. that'd be a good i'll be up for that deal <laughs> it's not bad yeah <laughs> yeah but, um no it's a it's good it's worked for me anyway i have to say i've, mm. I've liked it excellent yeah amazing I, I might take that on board I, I i sometimes do it by accident you know i'll just skip, oh, yeah, you do. And you, like, you kind of skip breakfast yeah. yeah 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 and uh try not to eat too late as well i've been mm. kind of in that sort of mode now and then but uh i go through like I'm, I'm i'm quite of the extremities you know i'd go very like no alcohol for three months yeah you know it's like no yeah no none of that i cut the cord you know and then other times it's like okay i'm it looks like i'm drinking three times a week yeah. uh five to six maybe, bottles or whatever maybe, maybe and uh it just gets carried away you know so it's like it's it's just this up and down thing so i'm looking forward to forward to getting back into like a nice clean slate now i've been sort of at the beginning of lockdown i was very uh very calm and and doing meditation as well you know that was keeping me going i was doing that very frequently yoga mm. um going out to nature you know, just mm. very, very kind of just grounded, you know, trying to ground myself at least because mm. I knew it was going to be, I was preparing for craziness, yeah. you know, psychological turmoil. So I was like, okay, what's the best state of mind to be in? Yeah. Calm, you yeah. know. That'll be good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that'll be handy. Calm in the middle of the storm, right? Yeah. So, um, but then, you know, it's just kind of like, yeah, you just sort of fall back in and it's oh. just kind of like, oh, 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 I'm back into this crevice again. Okay, we got to, we got to pull back out again. Yeah, so You have to allow yourself to do that as well, I think, and just, mm-hmm. you're not, you're never going to live like a saint all your life. And I, I know that I'm not going to live like a saint for my whole life. So I've just, just tried to live like a saint as much as I can. That's basically, that's, all, that's what I tried to do. Absolutely. Okay, so guys, my face froze on a lovely smile there, by the way. So not, not for you, Shabzi, because you can see me through uh, the Zoom. So, uh, oh. you, it's a very funny face, so I'm I'm well aware. I'm going to try and fix that. Um, but uh, Shabs, I'm not going to keep you too long, man, because I know we said uh, you have to head off in in a couple of minutes. So I'm going to finish you up uh, at the end. I'm going to play your song as well afterwards. Cool. Uh, just want to know what your new sort of just linking it back into music as well. Like, how's your sort of writing been uh, as well? With your with your diet change, with with your sort of uh, you know walking more, being outside. Did, did you notice any sort of difference in 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 creativity? Maybe you didn't. I don't know. It's just like, is your mind clearer, or are you is your mind going different places? Anything like that? Well, I definitely have been like literally writing songs on walks as well, you know, and um, mm-hmm. and I think that that period of time where there's just quiet in the brain or you're looking at something nice, it, like it sounds, you know, cliche, but it does work, you know, mm. space from, I think one really bad thing for it is actually is overuse of social media that makes it, that, like, that kills creativity for me anyway. Mm-hmm. You know, now it, it can be great for like I love YouTube and everything like that as a, as a thing, which I know we're live on at the moment. But I, I think that's a great thing for all things creative or things, you know, uh, learning new things. So I love that. But you know, I have found that on my walks, I'm actually writing songs and talking to my phone and stuff and singing into my phone on walks, and that that works really well. So I've been doing that a lot, which I used to do really that much. Yeah, uh, that's that's great advice for people as well because. It's, it's a lot easier to get sucked in. Like I've noticed myself as well, just getting sucked into the social media and and obviously reading a lot of new, well, no, I'm not reading too much news, but by default, reading social media, you're subjected to information. Mm. So um, it can really put the mind in a, in a, in a particular state of, uh, well, a, a particular state of mind, I guess. So it's great to detach in that kind of way. You know, it's actually yeah. a really good... Uh, uh, 
really good way to um to t to think about. So you seem like you're in a really good space, man. You seem like a, you, you look healthy. You seem very you know grounded now. So um and that's amazing. Do you have any like do you have any songs that are like are you are we are we expecting a song in two months? Am I jumping ahead of the game? I know you just released one last week, but. No, there won't be. We're actually, we decided that we're going to just take that, as I was saying, we're going to take a little bit of time before jumping into it. Because when, when you move from release to release, sometimes mm -hmm. that can be a little bit overwhelming. I think when you're, when you're thinking about the pushing of a song side of your side of this industry, mm -hmm. that can get very tiresome. And we've been doing, we've been in that space almost for about four or five months during, because we decided let's go hell for leather here during lockdown. Let's put up loads of content. Let's do things. Let's not go quiet. Mm -hmm. um, which we um which we didn't do which i've been happy with uh, yeah. uh, but now we're going to take a small little sus just to be as a band together for a while uh, and then but they'll there's loads of songs waiting there uh, and so yeah we will put something out probably before i would say before the end of the year but maybe not in the immediate two months okay i'm gonna not ask you that anymore because uh i don't want to pressure you because i because I, I i just love it every time you come out with something it's just this massive energy it's this ball of energy and it's like within like three minutes yeah you know yeah. and it's perfect length i mean this one was a little bit shorter right then than don't play games right we had a little bit you were in the two minute 250 mark, three seconds yeah yeah which is great i mean it's it just i love that when songs are that short you're like oh man i want to play that again yeah, that is the kind of, that was the, the feel. well, it naturally was written at that length and uh, it, uh, you know, it had a feeling of like, for me, of like um, New Radicals off it. Um, uh, what's the one? You Get What You Give. So that oh, yeah. had a feeling of that song off it for me, which had a replayable quality about it, I think. So hopefully people feel like that about the song. Uh, funny you mentioned that song. That You played that song, right? Uh, live did. the cover of that. We did. That was at the Late Late Show, was it? Or was it? That was... Podge and, Raj. Podge and Raj, yeah, fantastic. I remember seeing that. How long ago was that? Was that two years ago? Bloody hell, I don't have a clue. It was, it was, a, it was around Halloween, so it would have been. Yeah, it was yeah, well, yeah. So maybe two years ago, yeah, October. Oh, two years, years, yeah. Fantastic, that's great, Shabzi. Okay, so my video froze, guys. Anyway, look, that's fine. You, it, it's no problem with that. So, um, yeah, Shabs, listen, thanks. So, I don't want to keep you any longer, man. Thank you so much for for popping in and giving us a little bit of an insight to 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 the music where you're at now, giving us a little bit of uh, where your where your where your mind is at as well. It's just great to see you in good form, man. This is this will definitely inspire um, a lot of people too. Um, is there anything else you'd like to uh, sort of close off with? Is there anything? Obviously, we're going to guide people to the uh, to the single, and uh, obviously, we are. Uh, we're gonna to have to hold off and and see what what you're coming up with right event wise and stuff like that is there anything else i might be missing um there's a there's a good session coming soon uh a good live session that was recorded for a i don't think i'm allowed to say what it is yet but it's for a good publication um and a good online publication so i can't i don't know what i'd say what it is yet but mm -hmm. it's that's coming very soon so there's a full live set that people can watch of us um that's that's coming and it's like 45 minutes long so i think that's coming in like two weeks so that'll be a nice piece of content oh, Keep an eye out that. brilliant and that's obviously so guys you can find uh shabzi's uh band state lights uh on facebook i guess is the best place what's what's the best place where's the best place people can get to you facebook or instagram um, mm -hmm. or Twitter. but i suppose instagram and facebook are better because you can kind of have longer videos up there so that's that's probably our best spot plus when you go live as well people get notified when you when you hop on live so um um it's great shop it's an absolute pleasure touching base with you again man and I, I really look forward to uh to all of your upcoming gigs i wish you the very 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 best with this recent release and um i hope we can get to work on something together as well in the near future absolutely yeah brilliant i'd love to do that any any sort of uh any sense of doing anything is welcome always <laughs> so uh <laughs> That's Keep great to hear. Yeah, no, that's great. So it's good to know I'm not pestering you at least. <laughs> no. Listen, brother, have a great end to your week, brother, and uh, I'll talk to you very soon. Brilliant. Thanks, man. See you. Bye, bye, bye. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was the wonderful Shubzy O'Brien from State Lights. There's my face on the couch. Look, I'm interviewing myself. Look at this. Woo, a bit of technical issues here, guys. Uh, I'm going to leave you with a Shubzy's. State Lights most recent release. Give me something human.
absolutely wonderful tune that was state lights with give me something human guys and uh what a relatable song uh during these times and i was speaking with the wonderful shabsy o'brien lead singer of state lights there's state lights in the chat there give us the l starry eyes and the love eyes absolutely brilliant check those guys out give them a fuck click on i don't even know if you can click on the state lights name can you no you can't follow straight away but uh give them a follow guys uh they are fantastic they're releasing some brilliant brilliant content uh live live events recordings uh covers and and they're just fabulous they really are fabulous so um i'm just a super fan here i'm a super fan of these guys so without sounding too creepy uh, <laughs> it, it was an absolute delight uh, to touch base with Shabzi after um, yeah a couple of months, guys. Jesus, it's mad. Like it's um, it's mad where we're at now. You know, since April. Um, I don't know how everybody feels um, with how the journey has been. I know it's been crazy. It's been where's the camera? It's been absolutely madness. But uh, it's been beautiful to be connected with the wonderful music scene here in Ireland, guys. Don't you think? It's the music that's been keeping us going. It's the music that's been keeping us alive. It's the music that's been keeping us connected. So, yeah, it's really important to uh, to support it. Uh, support it strongly. So, fair play to you all for tuning in. Fair play to you. Look at this. we got a fantastic 12 people watching on YouTube, which is just brilliant. It's just brilliant, guys. Nathan Max saying, ha... David, you need a late night talk show. Yes, I do. Please give me, give me it. Anybody out there, any TV shows, I'll hop on your station. Let me do a late night talk show. Um, I'm totally down for it. I'm, I'm just, I'm loving the vibe. I'm loving connecting with musicians now. I've, I've, as you can see, I've improved the, the, the visuals a little bit. Guys, speaking of Nathan Mac, right? Play, give, give that man, give that fantastic man a big happy birthday. It's his birthday today. Give him a happy birthday in the chat there. And uh, he's releasing his song tomorrow, Carolina. And we're getting an exclusive uh, preview of it. We're getting a pre-play. I don't even know if they're called pre-plays. Pre I'm calling them pre-plays on my show, okay? And we're going to have the wonderful Kevin Casey now very shortly. But before, before we invite Kevin Casey on, give Nathan a big happy birthday, guys. Give him a big happy birthday. And... Um, I'm going to listen to his song. We're all going to listen to his song. <laughs> oh, jeez. I've woken up, guys. I've woken up. I've, oh, I feel amazing. I feel amazing. Uh, and thanks all for witnessing this. By the way, anybody that's just tuned in, give, give the stream a sub. Get, p hit that bell there. Get notified when I'm live next. It's, gonna, it's just local music all the time. Local music all the time. And give the stream a like if you're enjoying it so far as well. Be much appreciated. It does help. Um, it does help get it out there a little bit into YouTube if there's a if there's a good response. So slap in, slap in a comment, slap in an, a like there on the video, and slap a sub. Anybody on you? Uh, uh, I think we're still live on Facebook. So hop on the YouTube. It's much better. There's a link there in the chat. Hop on the YouTube. I'm gonna listen to. Uh, we're all gonna listen to uh, Nathan Max, Carolina, uh, Anna's middle name. Anna, there you go. I'm glad you're tuning in. The wifey's tuned in. So that's 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 amazing coincidence, isn't it? And it's even pronounced like your middle name. Isn't that funny? Well, there you go. That's why I, was, I, had, to, I had to contact Nathan. I was like, "Is it Carolina or Carolina?" So it, it's uh, it's it's a pleasant uh, it's a pleasantry uh, that it's uh, the latter um, pronunciation. So let's whip this up. This is this is a, a debut for me. I deliberately didn't listen to it because I wanted to be there with you guys and listen to it for the very first time so um there we go dave duggan happy christmas nathan mac there we go spreading the l uh holiday spirit fantastic right where where is this oh yeah the tracks on my pc look at this i'm all over the shop I'm, i have a laptop right in front of me so i've got two keyboards or two mouse two mice mouses so you know how it is guys carolina it's exclusive nathan mac here we go Draw a new life into me Until tonight I've never needed a second chance I've forgotten who I wanna be So could you take me and paint me into your visions of romance Carolina Use your pencil to trace my lips now 
Carolina With your hands make me intimate again gentlemen it's nathan mack with carolina his most recent release which has not been released yet it's releasing tonight midnight definitely hop on there pre-save that nathan uh thank you so much for sending us the exclusive um of your song man it's absolutely fantastic dude absolutely amazing um it's just it just amazes me your releases are just so powerful man um nathan's first uh release uh happened uh this year as well over the um was it over the lockdown now? Was it was it March? I'm trying. I'm trying to. I'm losing track of time now. Um, better off without you. And absolutely unbelievable track as well. So best of best of luck with this uh, with this release, buddy. Uh, well deserved. And if you want to tune in as well on Saturday, this Saturday I'm going to be chatting with Nathan Mack himself. I'm be catching up. It's a long overdue uh, chat that we need. So uh, yeah, it's going to be great. So, uh, I'm going to just throw on our pick of the week as well segment, which is by the wonderful Maximilian Foy is joining us uh, with a pre-record. And uh, Rebecca's going to be back with us on the Saturdays. So, we got Maximilian Foy doing his thing. And then we're going to have the wonderful Kevin Casey straight afterwards. So, sorry, Kevin, for the delay. I hope that's all right with you, buddy. I sent you, I don't know, I sent you a message there. I hope that's all right. And, uh, yeah, Nathan, it's my absolute pleasure, dude. Absolute pleasure. It is amazing. Dave Duggan, uh, love all you. You're right, man. It, it's, it is really good stuff. Uh, May 1st. Yeah, May 1st, your first release. So fair play to you as well for, for giving, us, um, giving us these wonderful tunes. Guys, pick of the week. Let's do it. Greetings and salutations. My name is Maximilian Foy, and this is my pick of the week. So welcome to my humble abode. Uh, my name is Maximilian Foy again. Uh, I'm really, really happy to be here on Demar's Radio today to uh, give you my pick of the week and tell you about a few of the artist bands videos that I'm enjoying at the moment. For any of you out there that aren't familiar with my work, I was uh, one of the presenters for the amazing Transmission Festival on the 1st of August. I was so lucky to spend a day with uh, Rebecca Cappuccini, my wonderful co-host, and we just had an absolute ball. And besides that, uh, I play my trade as a Dublin rapper. I rap 
rap about crazy shit. I don't rap about the normal stuff. Um, I've had a lot of experience on the scene. I was in a band called The Actual Mafia. I was in a band called Felch. And I was in a band called The Filthy Kings. So I've been up and down the roads. I've never been really successful. But I don't think that really matters because I've had a good time. So the first artist I want to talk to you about goes by the name of Luke Faulkner. He is a musical artist as well as a visual artist. And his stage name is Pure Grand. So uh, remember that name because he is definitely one for the future. He makes delicious 80s tinged synth pop. Uh, in the vein of maybe your rhythmics. Um, Depeche Mode. He has a voice that's very reminiscent of uh, Dave Gahan. And he's just been pumping out little bangers for years. He's got three or four EPs. Um, he's had a wonderful single called Pink which I really really loved. And if you're treating yourself to a drink tonight and you want to do some pre-drinking. Um, go to Spotify and hop on Last Bus. Because it is an absolute tune. As well as being a musician he's also a visual artist. And makes all of his own music videos. And they're really really striking and really really creative. Uh, his latest. A music video timeline which debuted on nylor9.com uh, yesterday was uh, shot by Eleanor Rogers and edited and directed by Faulkner himself so it's really really worth checking out it's got the aesthetic of a late 90s pop video and it's beautifully shot and wonderfully acted uh, by Pure Grand himself uh, if you go to puregrand.org you can see all of his musical and visual collections and there's some really is something for everybody he's really really talented okay so the next band I want to talk to you about I actually discovered at the Transmission Festival. I'm going to tell you about one of the most interesting bands I discovered through uh, Transmission. And it's interesting because they weren't actually on the bill. So the band was Lipton Village. And I was lucky enough to get to talk to uh, their singer Claire Nolan at the Transmission Festival. And she was just really, really lovely. Really, really uh, uh, amazing girl to chat to. And I had already been slightly aware of Lipton Village because uh, I had heard them uh, discuss their music on this actual show. So... Lead singer was really, really sound. I had a bit of an interest. And I liked the name. So I was like, I'm definitely going to shoot over to Spotify and check them out. And I checked out their first single uh, called No Offense, which was released in June of this year. And it's an absolute banger. It's really, really ice cold groove. It kind of reminds me of, like, the a Roisin Murphy mixed with a bit of Womack and Womack. And it's got a real kind of up-tempo um, hopeful chorus as well, which is cool. And it came out in the middle of, of, of the pandemic. So it really did... Uh, you know, sum up a lot of the, the feelings that I was thinking about the pandemic. Really, really worth checking out. Great, great, great debut song. So another reason why I actually like Lifting Villages, you know when you find a new band and you kind of Facebook stalk them? Well, I was on their page and I saw lots of pictures of like Gloria Gaynor and Grace Jones. So I was like, ooh, they like the disco. And uh, strangely enough, their new single that's coming out very, very soon is called Disco. Uh, so basically, uh, the song blends uh, modern electronic sounds with a classic disco sound. Uh, it's going to cap off the summer of 2020 with the hopeful message, don't let go of the disco. So uh, be sure to check that out as well so that's upcoming Lipton Village check them out great band uh, and hopefully when all of this you know apocalypse comes to an end uh, we can actually go and see them live because they're really one I want to see live so folks I hope you enjoyed my pick of the week uh, Rebecca Cappuccini will be back next week with her pick of next week and I'll probably be back the week after that with some more random crazed madness until then uh, you can follow me at Maximilian underscore Foy at Instagram and Facebook I got a couple of podcasts that I produce at the moment uh, one is called uh, Murder Most Irish it's an Irish true crime podcast you can find that on Spotify and I help out with an LGBTQ plus podcast called Friends of Dorothy where we interview some amazing guests so thanks so much for listening to me guys and I'll See you very soon. Bye-bye. Scrolling through photos of my former years. I pull back the curtains and pull back my fears. Reckless promises painted in harsh flesh. Down with comparison Cause time is 
Yeah, that was absolutely delightful. Maximilian Foy's uh, segment today, and that was his uh, debut segment. He's going to be doing it every Thursday with us now. And uh, yeah, Claire Nolan, uh, uh, absolutely, yeah, great. I'm glad you, I'm glad you tuned in for that. Uh, you need to give him a hug. Yeah, give him a hug. Yeah, he'd love a hug, I'm sure. Just uh, make sure you get tested first, you know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, absolutely uh, brilliant. We had Pure Grand there as well. Uh, it was an awesome artist. I literally just got introduced to P- Pure Grand. Uh, by Maximilian Foy. So once again, it's just brilliant to be introduced to more, more music. So fantastic. And of course, Claire Nolan's uh, wonderful band, Lipton Village, they are releasing a new single on the 25th of September called Disco. And I have I had I had listened to the whole thing, guys. I listened to the whole thing. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. So uh, Claire, let me know when I'm allowed to play that to the public. Um, and uh, yeah. Just, just stay in touch with that and best of luck. Guys, please welcome the amazing, the wonderful Kevin KC to the show. Let's let's slap him up into the studio. Here we go. Kevin KC, give him some love in the chat, guys. How are you doing, buddy, man? Buddy, I'm man. Good to see you again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. More energy this time, man. I'm, I'm proving the show, making, livening it up a little bit now. We're doing the evenings instead of the daytime sort of slump, so... Uh, yeah, great to see you, man. We we chatted. Uh, how long was it like back in May? I'm, lo- I'm I'm just throwing out months here at people, and people are like, "Oh uh, yeah, April, May." <laughs> just like, I, don't I, know think, I think it could have been May. Yeah, I think it was yeah. May because it was ahead. It was just ahead of the 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 single I had coming out at the time, which was the start of June. So uh, yeah, I think May. Yeah, was, May was and that was it's all right, right? That was the that was the one you released. Exactly. Yeah. Brilliant, which was a, as a fantastic single, and then we got another brilliant single, uh, "Sing My Soul to Sleep," uh, which is an absolute uh, delight, man. Fair play to you uh, for just banging out tunes as well during these uh, difficult times. Uh, so, like, well done for just like you know uh, easing the soul of uh, of humanity there. You know, uh, piece by piece, right, song by song. Uh, how was that recording for you actually this time? So, was there anything new? Did you take any new approaches? Was it was it easier, difficult, or was there any kind of new revelation you had with this recording? This one was much easier, and um, this is actually an unreleased track that I had just lying around. So the recording that had to be done on it was kind of minimal. Um, so it was more mixing and mashing on this one. So it was actually this one was a dream to to be involved in because I had to do literally very little, you know. Mm-hmm. So uh, if all recordings and songs and albums were that easy to to uh, to do, 
so you know you'd bang but, them out uh, every month exactly <laughs> so um yeah 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 that's great and did you have the same uh lineup uh did you have the brothers on 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 instruments uh for this one or who, who's yeah who's, yeah 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 great it's, uh you know it's, it's a formula that worked with the last one like it's all right we you know we had um we had them and we went for a new studio and a new engineer so i didn't change anything in, in that sense um, yeah, you, you can hear that. You can hear it. You can hear the no. connection from "It's All Right" to "Sing My Soul to Sleep." There's definitely the same it's thing, and it's great to do that. Like even on a on a year package basis, right? If you're releasing yeah. songs in a year, and they all have that same hint, uh, as there's a, there's a connection. It's I was I was very pleasantly surprised that that it was nicely connected audibly, you know, and frequently. That's, yeah, like that's good to hear because normally I kind of jump between genres and styles on re releases because the one we had in March was. It was a lot more soul and stripped back, you know, it was, you know, singer songwriter. So then when It's Our Roy came out, it was, the, you know, the opposite end of the, spe- the spectrum. So mm-hmm. I wanted to kind of keep it similar to that because I actually, I felt really comfortable in the sound and in the in the tones and stuff that we used for It's Our Roy. So I didn't want to change too much from, from that, you know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And uh, what's what's the story behind uh, this this recent release? Do you want, do you want to talk a little bit about the, the lyrics and, and sort of the... Um... Yeah, the, the like message. I mean, the it, you know, there's no personal kind of um experience kind of buried in in, in lyrically in, in this or anything like that. But at the at the mm-hmm. time from writing, it's just kind of about the 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 narrator of the song, if you like, is in kind of despair and is kind of falling through days. And and you know, given the, given all that's gone on with the lockdown and with, with COVID nineteen, people have kind of went into kind of drinking and staying indoors and kind of thinking irrationally and acting in ways they probably wouldn't have if they were you know free to wander and roam wherever they wanted mm-hmm. um but in the end anyway the, the character in this song just realizes that you know to hell with that there's more there's more to life and just finds kind of peace in the simple things like music so hence sing mm-hmm. we all to sleep um that's that's pretty much it it's a it's a very basic kind of story mm-hmm. and uh, that's it yeah, awesome. Are you are you planning any other uh, releases to sort of combine into an EP with this one? I am, yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm awesome already of about four or five songs that I've wrote mm-hmm. um, that I'm, I'm really, really happy with. And I was hoping to get them out in October, but the more I think about it, I might have to delay that a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, October is kind of setting up to be a busy month with other stuff, so maybe definitely before Christmas that I'll have four, four, four or five songs on an EP. Um, there's a couple of other ideas that we're kind of getting the ball rolling on that we, we, you know, early next year, all going well with uh, venues opening up and people, musicians having their freedom back. You, you know, you, you'll be seeing them then. But uh, mm-hmm. we plan to keep busy for the next couple of couple of months where possible if it's releasing song by song or it is an EP or whatever the case may be. And um, we're going to you know, be, be creating regardless. Awesome. Are we getting a music video or a lyric video from you on this one? On this one, we're not, no. Mm-hmm. Um, basically, what I wanted to do was I wanted this just to be a follow-up to It's All Right, and I wanted mm-hmm. it kind of quick, um, because the next song that's coming, it's one that I've never been more excited to, to release a song as this next one that's coming out. Nice. Um, so I wanted to kind of save, you know, funds and, you know, to go to it, approach the next the next release with a bigger budget. So uh, mm-hmm. this one, what you see is what you got so far, as that's the, the song. Um, and, and that's all I'm going to do for this one. What you see is what you got. Yeah, with the uh, with the with the song. Like, there's no video coming with it. You know, there's there's, there's no. Oh, sorry, coming. I thought that was the name of the upcoming song. No, no, no. The, <laughs> I won't. I won't share I any details. I won't share any details about the. Uh, Brilliant. <laughs> the next one well that's all we need that's all we need man that's we don't need we don't need to be overstimulated here you know you're giving us you're giving us plenty you know and the fact that we're falling back on as well it's all right you had a music video uh released uh with uh, dave duggan right so he did exactly he, he yeah. did a he did a video for you as well so that's great you can't you don't you don't want to overkill or anything as well of course and you want to focus on sort of yeah obviously financials and and you, you got to move forward right you got to move on to the next one now this is planned so sorry did, did i miss out um did you say when when about when thereabouts you're releasing it or yeah like we were looking at kind of october but i might i might delay it for a you know a month um Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because i'm I'm so kind of psyched about this song that i'm i'm really not gonna rush it it's it's the type of song that i don't want to look back on next year and say geez you you know i wish i had done this so i want to make sure that it's um 
it's perfect before before I'll, uh, I'll do anything with it. Before you get it done. Yeah. Dave Duggan says you should do a Christmas song. What do you think about that? I actually, I wrote a Christmas song. I wrote two of them about six years ago and I'm still fucking writing them. Oh, really? You started yeah, writing? Yeah. Yeah. There's just this one little part in, in, in one of them that I just can't get right. But it just doesn't seem right to start kind of practicing it in June, mm. you know, or definitely not in January or February. So by the time, by the time I feel that it's it's suitable to start kind of working on it again, it's nearly December. And then I just yeah. get caught up in the festivities. And I get you. Yeah, it's kind of like a you have to be in sort of a frame of mind almost, right, to write a Christmas song because there's like, uh, you know, you just you want to kind of feel the emotion right for especially songwriting you want to feel genuine right obviously as you know of yourself course, yeah so yeah my friend of mine was telling me he was he was doing he was working on a christmas album with uh with nathan carter but they were doing it in like the summer he said it was mm-hmm. hell just you know the same thing so i don't want to put myself in that situation where i just piss myself <laughs> off so much so i'll just scrap it all together so yeah yeah it won't end up sounding like a christmas song it'll sound no, like a summer no platinum hit or whatever but you're just like oh no i was working for a christmas song exactly here. and look christmas comes every year so one of these years i'll get it out, yeah yeah know? yeah maybe that's geez that's maybe that should be the chorus <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know. okay brilliant yeah so how how is it with regard to like uh gigs and stuff like that bookings i know you had obviously we all had our stuff cancelled is there stuff in the pipeline already um that you have is there any online stuff and or are we are we taking a pause from all that as well now I've, I've a couple of online gigs coming up. I have to do mm-hmm. one with Finbar Hoban. Um, Finbar Hoban presents soon enough. Um, mm-hmm. Our launch is still booked in for October 16th and having spoke to the venue recently, uh, we're a little bit unsure as to whether it's going to go ahead. Mm-hmm. So it's really kind of crunch time now in the next week or so for us to, to make a call on this. Um, mm-hmm. It breaks my heart to think that the gig won't go ahead because it's already been you know, postponed since March. Yeah. But look, um, the fact of the matter is, cases have been rising, so there is a responsibility on me as the artist to, you know, decide whether I'm willing to put people in that position, my own, my own band mm. in that position. So yeah, I'm gonna monitor it closely for another week or so and see um, if if that is a case that is put back, we'll probably just put it back to next year and spend the remainder of this year mm-hmm. doing online gigs and and creating music and just. For the duration of that time, we'll be keeping fingers and toes crossed that this thing goes away fairly soon so we can all get back to business, you know? Yeah, yeah. I guess it is It is kind of like a tricky... We're sort of in a limbo state uh, still, uh, even more so. Like, even since when I spoke to you before, there was a, mm-hmm. a lot more... There was a there was more fear in the air for sure anyway back then and uncertainty Mm -hmm. uh we've learned a bit over the past few months since then yet we're still kind of in a little bit of uncertainty Uh, it's almost like a different phase of uncertainty right with regard to music and gigging and and obviously yeah I, i i respect that sense of you know um you know uh you know we need to make sure that uh people are safe uh, obviously at these events too so fair play to you for for keeping that into consideration and for doing transmission with us you know that was amazing fair play to you for taking that was great that. yeah, yeah that mean, was a decent was... setup right so we could have stayed we stayed distant you know and it worked it was savage and and, and the, the great thing about that for me was you, you kind of still had the same buzz of being at a re- like a, a gig because you'd people kind of out in the courtyard and stuff and you could mingle and you could have a chat and social distance was was a uh, was you know we all we all we, we're all sensible about it but it was it was a great thing and um, and even if things ever do get back to normal to the way they were last year the year before i would still encourage the uh, transmission to go ahead because it's mm. it's a fabulous day for musicians it's great for networking and i mean the setup was, was you, you may as well be in a liquor street or somewhere it was brilliant mm-hmm. delighted to hear that man absolutely yeah. it was a pleasure having you and I'm glad you got to you got to come out and experience it with us. And uh, Keith is actually in the chat there. I don't know if you know you know you met you chatted to Keith, uh, who who basically supplied his company supplied all the equipment, uh, which was just crazy. Yeah, it was just so such a such a crazy investment. So um, yeah, and it was amazing. It just really worked out. The location's fabulous and stuff like that. So yeah, that's I'm still kind of thinking that because I'm I'm I'm, a, I'm wary of the venues. Like you know, and obviously they're feeling pressure. I get it. You know what I mean. So it's nothing against venues or anything. You know, it's just like I'm wary of the stability. Unfortunately at the moment uh but uh you know we're coming into winter now so it's like okay what's what's the next situation you know winter might be you know i know you're saying you know trying to be optimistic and stuff you know keeping our fingers and toes crossed but 
it's also kind of like oh what maybe one should start preparing a little bit psychologically for for uh, what, what what's going to happen you know so yeah. i'm just kind of curious what is going to turn out you know have you thought about that at all have you thought about sort of like what you might do as, as a musician and not uh, really um mm. being honest i've just just been kind of holding out hope that it that's going to you know, go away overnight and we can get back to normal. Like for, mm. for me, if you even if you put music aside, say say December in itself, it's a time for meeting up with you know family and friends and having dinner and having drinks. Like even if that is kind of affected, you know, it, it is going to be a bit of a horrible month. You know, yeah. but please, all I can say is please God that you know pubs will open and we can get get back gigging. Even if it's a smaller crowd, so be it. You know, if it's yeah. If, if you're cutting your band in half and you're doing it as a duo, so mm-hmm. be it. At least it's getting out there. It's we're making money, and you know it's just good for us all, really. Mm. Absolutely. Uh, what what venue um, is was your upcoming gig? Do you want to mention it or? Yeah, like we were we're booked, it's, and it's still booked for the underground. Oh, um, brilliant! I'm yeah, glad to hear so, their back. Yeah, but it's it's, it's 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 like who knows? It's it's still up in the air. So uh, we're praying. Mm. That's all I can say. Yeah, no, fair play to to venues trying their best. You know, I know, yeah. I know, um, Abner Brown. Like, I know Dave. He's he's tr- he's obviously a huge support for for local min- independent music. So, um, it's it's a hard time for those kind of venues, as they call them, wet bars. Um, you know, without the old kish- kitchen in the back. So you know they're not going to build a bleeding kitchen in a in a week or two, uh, <laughs> with, especially without getting, getting clients. So I feel really bad, yeah. especially places like you know Boyles and Slane as well and I'm sure you know uh, that place uh, with John Archbold who's just a just such a got got such a big heart for local music as well and uh, they just can't do anything they're sitting ducks they were promised something um, they had expectation I suppose and I think that's dangerous too is to create an expectation especially during these uncertain times right yeah. um, we can't say anything you know and uh, so especially as a business my god imagine like you know how people might be feeling um and you're still working are you you're still working away kevin are you what, what do you get up to yeah like i'm kind of i'm i'm really busy actually um like we we have a I have a job luckily because i didn't realize the music was on like such a such a beating mm. so i'm lucky to have that and plus i'm you know i'm a dad to a one-year-old so i'm 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 on my toes kind of all day mm. um but yeah like it's i'm lucky yeah. And I, like, I know there's so many who, who don't, mm. you know, who haven't, who hadn't got anything lined, lined up to fall back on. And I really feel for, for those, mm. you know. Um, it's always good to yeah just just be grateful I guess for for these a lot of us are you know in in good in good positions you know majority you know I think there is that there is that unlucky few that are obviously you know being affected severely by it and um, obviously as well it's a psychological issue as well it's beyond even yeah. just physical thing it's, it's psychologically affecting all of us anyway at different levels uh, which is crazy and how is like your are you are you right are you is your creativity kind of is it at a all-time low high mid uh, is there anything like how are you feeling with that i'm actually it's been great i, mm. I mean it, like i've been lucky that i've you know i've found so much inspiration the last few months um i, I don't know why i can't put my finger on it i mean there has been a lot of doom and gloom all over the the world and like on the trial and things like that when it, you know you see not that it's a good thing, but you, you look at the, the black lives matter thing you, you see what's going on you can see the, the kind of unity in people and and people mm. across the world and just stuff like that kind of really gets my kind of creative buzz mm. going you know so i've i've had a lot of time to write and i've wrote a lot mm. um well you know in a way i hope that i have time to actually get all these songs down recorded and out before mm. it gets back to you know full throttle on the gig in front um but uh, yeah in, in some ways as bad as it's been i've really enjoyed having the time to write yeah, I guess it's a good time, right, to write. It's the best time to write and record. You, you can sort of yeah. stockpile almost the songs. and um, But obviously it costs money too, so there's that kicker. Um, but if you're working, that's fine. And do you have, like, any spare time for, like, any kind of side hobbies or anything like that? Or it's, like, family's hobby, right, at this stage almost. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, look, I mean, I kind of, like like most people, I like getting me, me, few, me few drinks in, you know. So for anybody that knows me, they'll know I'm fond of the pub. So I still, I still get out and, you know, live me live me life as you know as, as much as as i can 
Um, but and look, I'll put I'll put time aside to spend with the family. That's important too, you know. Mm. So, um, which yeah, I've I've been quite busy. So it's, mm. uh, but, it's great. Uh, well, it's good. To, it's good to be busy. What 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 kind of work is it? You don't have to go into too much detail or like. Ah, uh, security of, work. So. Security, yeah, great, great, great. Yeah, well, Paul Archbold is uh, he does security now. He he did it in Noonan's originally, and then he he, he evolved from them to uh, doing Facebook security. And uh, he was out based out in Ongar, I think it was. They had the Facebook databases there, and then he moved up, got a promotion then, and went into. He's in town now, but he's working like seven, sixty, seventy hours. They they seem to work you quite hard in security. Is that the same yeah. for you? Uh, no, no, <laughs> you wouldn't get 60 hours on me. <laughs> <laughs> um, 60 hours a month. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, yeah. that's good. No, oh, that's good. Yeah, no, that, that's absolutely mental. So I, I, I was ringing, um, I rang Pat Courtney, right? On a, this is like totally random. And um, I was trying to promote, you know, transmission. I just, I always just do that. I just ring random people. So I rang him while he was on his break and he said he knows you. Yeah, I'm good friends with Pat, yeah. No way. Do you, like, tell yeah. us a little bit how, how kind of like that happened and sort of your relationship with them, because that's pretty interesting. Yeah, um, it's, it's, geez, it's gone back a, a good few years now. Um, I think I met Pat at one of the the, the Void for Fellows or the, uh, the, the Bash for Fellows out in Holt that another friend of mine, Jimmy Koo, uh, mm. organised. So I'm pretty sure I met him at that. And then it just kind of, we had a lot in common musically. Um, he actually sat in on one of our recording sessions, uh, and then it was just the the general kind of meeting up for for points on occasions and mm-hmm. just talking about music and stuff like that. But you know, Pat's kind of a, a good alloy um, to to musicians because he understands the importance of mm-hmm. of of music and bands and rock mm-hmm. and roll <laughs> more importantly. And uh, it was actually only. When the when it's all right came out, he was the first one to reach out and um, to actually give the song some airplay. So it was actually to be played on on Radio Nova at peak time, and that was all past doing. So I was like, you know, there wasn't a greater gift he could have given me, you know. And within the the, the the early stages of the song being released, he was the first one to reach out. I'm from the biggest station as well, biggest biggest rock station at least. Um, mm-hmm. so yeah, like we're, we're we're good friends, and we go we go way back. Yeah, it was awesome. Because uh, I mentioned, I just kind of tr- like I've I've rang him really odd times, like and um and fair play to his patience with me, just kind of ringing him out of the blue, not his personal number, obviously. I'm ringing him <laughs> in the studio, you know. Yeah. So uh, usually I catch them on the break. I have this like little sort of uh you know this window that I I, I <laughs> sort of grab at the right time, and 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 lo and behold, you know, he answers and he gives me his time. You know, he's an absolute gentleman every time I speak to him. And sometimes I get too nervous to ring out just randomly. But, uh, you know, I was just like, oh, I have to share this with him. You know, I have to tell him about yeah. transmission. And I just kind of threw out a few names that were there. And, like, I threw out, like, whatever, five, six names. Like, oh, Kevin Casey. Oh, he's fantastic. He's great. And he was just bigging you up. And he, like, thanks to you, he gave me, like, more time. Do you know what I mean? Which was lovely. Well, that's, um, yeah, that's mm. good to know. He was actually, he's got me a lot of actually good gigs over the years. Like, he got me on, on the bill for a, a gig for PA, a house in the Olympia, um, mm. the show opener on that a few years back. And he's actually done MC then at a few of our album launches and stuff over the years. So he's, mm. you know, he's, he's, he's been a big part of it, actually. I was only, it's only after going to come back to me now that you're discussing it, but um, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Awesome. Well, like, listen, if you're going sure. for a pint with him next time, please do give me a text. I'd love to, I'd love to meet him in the flesh. Uh, it's, it's, it's been long overdue. And um, I, I know, I always thought he was like one of those untouchables, you know, because uh, he's working for Nova. And, you know, you, 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 when you don't, you, you only hear people on the radio, you're just kind of like, oh, you know, the, they're hard to get, but uh now I have a now I have a, a connection now. I'm gonna take advantage of. No, I'm only messing. I won't. Yeah, he's one of the good guys. He's one of the, he seems he's one of the good ones. Yeah. Yeah, because Nova were doing a festival that weekend, and he was just like, "Oh, listen, I really, I, I love what you're doing. I think it's great. It's a great idea, you know." And I was surprised because I know Nova had, did get a bit of shtick, you know, just as a as a whole, you know, for not playing enough, not giving enough airspace. But of course, they have their own. I don't know how radio stations run, you know. I mean, I don't know. They might have to have to play you know what i don't know you know maybe it's not viable to run uh independent music 24 hours a day or do you know what i mean like i don't know how it yeah. works so obviously and it's not down to the mcs either you know it's not their job you know it's obviously 
the, the board of directors and stuff, I'm sure that sort of make a lot of decisions, obviously. Of course, so, um, yeah, there'd definitely be a hierarchy of, of some sort. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, so he was just like, oh, listen, we're doing this thing, so this other festival, but like what you're doing is something that interests me way more because I think it was like there was other bands there that weren't obviously independent, you know, he preferred the kind of grassroots sort of vibe. So that was really nice to hear, man. It was really nice. It kind of just made me sort of think like, shit, this is really impactful, you know, we need to we need to keep, we need to keep, um, keep the music alive, man, you know, we need to keep doing it, you know? Yeah, and I mean, as I said, it- Definitely next year, it, you know, it, it's something that if, if, I, if it was me who was behind it, you know, this year, I'd be, I'd be pushing to, to do it again next year because it was mm. it was great. You know, it was, mm. I couldn't fault it. Like, it was, it was fantastic. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Awesome, man. Yeah. Is there is there any like advice you have for, for musicians like that are kind of releasing music at this time or anything that like sort of stood out for you that was something you could share? Like, um, yeah, absolutely. Like, I mean. The, the most obvious one and the one that people will hear most is you you, you know you just got to keep going and if your if your song doesn't get to the level you want it to be there's always the next one you know so you just have to keep going but do research i'm only getting into to kind of looking things up now whereas i i thought i knew everything and i was kind of stuck in, in that frame of mind and every release i had was based around the facts that i'd already known mm. but lately i've been researching i've been looking at new new ways and, and new people to kind of to, to chase down and you know just just keep kind of researching and looking forward and looking for you know different ways around because there are and like you said even if it's if it's the likes of the djs and over you might not get to them directly but there are ways around it that, you know there, there are these networks so kind of do your homework and, and and research stuff and and chase it that way you know yeah yeah great advice i mean it is always easy to get stuck into certain uh ways of doing stuff right or, or frames of mind it's like oh i've already done it for years you know i know i know what i'm doing but things change like uh, technology comes in a lot more yeah and becomes there's mu- there might be a f- more efficient ways to to make things work so you're not you know floating about for a couple of hours on you know trying to make a image on microsoft paint or whatever when you can get photoshop or, or go you know, on fiverr like the, you know to get yeah like image. there's there's so many things and look we've all we'll all make the same mistakes that's 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 a fact you know there's never there's never a you know a perfect way of doing it but um there's certainly better ways and easier ways brilliant brilliant so dave duggan's in the chat actually do you have anything to say to him he's giving me stick <laughs> is he <laughs> he was giving you a stick earlier he said that uh, we should just skip your segment entirely <laughs> <laughs> he says you have an ego you don't seem like you have an ego at all me <laughs> no no you seem very down to earth you seem extremely humble good yeah like my mom's watching she thought I had an ego i'd get that you know, so. <laughs> see, you've been, yeah, you've Not been, you've, ego, Dave. <laughs> you've been raised well. See, there yeah. you go, Dave. So no, Dave's, Dave's only messing. He's always up for the bit of messing about, isn't he? So, <laughs> so you've been working with Dave a lot as well, right? So you've, you've done a good few projects with him. How's it, how's it like working with Dave? Yeah, Dave's cool to work with. Yeah. And I mean, the, the, the lyric video that he done there for it's all right was, was fantastic. Um, yeah. it was an absolute professional. So yeah. Mm. I thought you were going to give him some shtick there, man. Jeez, you're ah. way too nice. <laughs> if I had time to think think more about it, I might have came up with something a bit more. You know? <laughs> Next time I'll just send you like a, a question so you're prepared. Yeah. You could just give give like a big spiel now. Yeah. Then everyone's um, going to get it. What you think of them? All right, hold on. So. <laughs> I can always do stuff in post-editing though, you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> absolutely deadly kevin listen i won't take too much of your time man it's a text so much for uh for popping on for a little bit of a chit chat and just just to kind of reconnect again and stuff like that really much appreciated is there anything else you'd like to close off with um obviously uh, we have the new single um that obviously you want to plug is there also anywhere you want to sort of guide people um to your pages and stuff like that you can i'm giving you the floor now to sort of so yeah, yeah so the, the new song you're about to hear sing me salt sleep it's available on, on spotify so kind of go there go there and have a listen to uh to the music we released this year it's all right uh, the show goes on and all of the back catalog is there and um, you'll get our videos on youtube and on facebook at kevin casey official on instagram and, and twitter and uh, yeah look do do look us up on uh and i'll be seeing you again in a couple of months yeah great stuff kevin listen thank take care have a great end to your week man and um, i look forward to chatting to you very soon see you later brother you bye too, bye. Man. see ya bye 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 wednesday's tired of hangovers juice is through with lies you can't have pity for the 
back to the dirty lion eyes My words may wound or serenade They might just break your heart They might just cut the atmosphere They might just fall apart Your mood is surrendering To the Saturday Just before you crack a smile The music starts to play Oh my Sometimes in the morning time When you're waking up alone Under your own roof A thousand miles from home Oh my Lord I'm in far too deep Never a promise I just can't keep So listen once more To all my favorite songs And sing my soul to sleep So that was Sing My Soul to Sleep by the wonderful Kevin Casey. And um, we had a fantastic chat there, guys, uh, with the man himself. Uh, so we got to know a little bit about the song and just about where he's at and what his plans are for the future. So that concludes our show, guys, for this evening. Thanks so much for staying tuned in. Thanks so much for interacting and coming on and then supporting the local artists that we had for you this evening. Uh, if you haven't liked the video already, please do give it a now like. And if you're new and you haven't subscribed yet, do hit that subscribe button. And there's a bell there. Would you believe it, guys? I'm sure you haven't heard of this before. But you can click that bell and you're going to be notified every time I go live. And the next time I'm going to live, is going to be Saturday evening. I'm going to have the wonderful Nathan Mack uh, joining us. So we played his uh, tune today, which was an exclusive, which is going to release at midnight tonight. His name is all up there. So there's all information up here. I'm going to add any more info as well uh, from everybody that was on today. But do check out, check us out on Saturday. Uh, so give give the old uh, thing a sub and you can set a bell reminder there so you get notified. Back on Tuesday as well with the, uh, I think we're going to be playing Warzone uh, once again. Uh, and do a bit of live uh, we're going to try and get some live musicians so if anybody has any, knows or is a musician that wants to hop on Zoom and perform while we're playing uh, a bit of games, just a bit of crack it's something different that we're doing on Tuesday and of course if you haven't joined the Demartian community guys, you're missing out you gotta join us, it's 
it's on Facebook. It's in the link there in uh, YouTube. So do join us and be the first to, uh, well, be be part of the community. Uh, you can uh, be involved in the discussions we're having. And uh, yeah, it's just all around good crack uh, with good people. So uh, yeah, and of course, yeah, happy birthday to Nathan once again. Uh, well done, man, releasing a song uh, day before his, uh, day after his birthday. Uh, it's brilliant. So yeah, uh, see you later. There's Keto. Keto wants more new segments yeah did you did you all hear the new segment today um i'm gonna keep bringing in new segments and and little little bits and pieces so uh yeah cheers for cheers for being uh you know cheers for coming on and listening to the show guys so yeah i will see you all on when when did i say saturday Take it easy. Did I forget about anything? I feel like I'm ending so soon. Today's show is so quick, right? Um, you'll be able to. This video will be. You'll be able to rewatch this video as well very shortly. Uh, I'm afraid that I'm going to forget something here, guys. I think I've. I think I've got everything. Yeah. Jesus, that's madness, isn't it? When you finish a show so early. Anyway, see you later, guys. Bye bye. Hi, I'm Dick Johnson. This is the March Live News. Musicians are left to decide should they host a wedding or a funeral so they can actually play a gig. Apparently they can get a better crowd at these events due to the recent six-man indoor restriction. Or was it 15? No wait, that's outside, right? No, six is outside. Fuck's sake, I've no bleeding clue. And now some news from across the ocean. Joe Biden bid himself farewell after failing to outwit himself in his own Jack's mirror while practicing a speech against one Donald Trump's. That's it from DeMar's live news. Everybody's out of work or scared of losing their job. The dollar buys a nickel's worth. Banks are going bust. Shopkeepers keep a gun under the counter. Punks are running wild in the street. There's nobody anywhere who seems to know what to do and there's no end to it. We know the air is unfit to breathe and our food is unfit to eat. We sit watching our TVs while some local newscaster tells us Today we had 15 homicides and 63 violent crimes, as if that's the way it's supposed to be. We know things are bad, worse than bad. They're crazy. It's like everything everywhere is going crazy, so we don't go out anymore. We sit in the house, and slowly the world we're living in is getting smaller, and all we say is, please, at least leave us alone in our living rooms. Let me have my toaster and my TV and my steel-belted radios, and I won't say anything. Just leave us alone. Well, I'm not going to leave you alone. I want you to get mad. Right now.